What's up everybody, my name is Shad, welcome to Shad Kicks, and for today's video we are doing a sneaker review on the Converse One Star Suede in this fresh blue cyan colorway, but before we start I do want to say there's no box at all, got these on eBay, if you want to know where the box is, it didn't come with the box, and you, that's, I mentioned that in my last video. With that being said, let's get on to the shoe. You can see right here, the majority of the shoe is made out of suede. The suede is a very, it's not, in my opinion, it's not very good suede. However, on this side of the shoe, this is the right pair. It comes with this, with this tag that I pretty much guarantees it's really good suede, but I don't know. You just have to see as I wear them. And, and Right here, as you can see, you know, they're not changing, it's not really changing any colors. The color's not very changing, but it is kind of soft. It's a very, like, if you like to do this right here, very soft. It looks kind of hairy up close. I don't know if the phone's picking it up, but that's about the suede. We have this white stitching that goes all around the shoe like so. Then on the lateral side, we have these, this white star that's in a not very, it's not very, uh, what do you call it, quality uh, leather. But what do you expect for having a shoe that's $85 originally? But I got these for $55. So we have these white laces right here, white cotton laces. Then we have this rubber midsole that goes all around. You get like your typical classic Converse shoe on the back in white. It says Converse Classic Chuck Taylor with the white star. Then we have a gum bottom on the bottom. A little history before we go on. These shoes were created. These are the first uh, low top Converse shoes. And it's exactly like the originals. You got the suede. You got your leather inside. But these shoes ended up... I don't want to say failed, but they didn't do that much back then. They brought, it took them a long time. I think it was the late 80s or the early 90s where they, the Converse retroed these shoes. And it was a huge success in that time. You have more of your skaters, your alternative groups rocking these shoes. But right now in 2020 and well before 2020, back in 2015, a lot of skaters that I knew were, were, would wear these shoes. So these shoes did make a comeback, however, they're not sold out. Well, this pair is sold out, but if you want the classic black and white, navy and white, or any other thing like that, you can go ahead and find them on Nike.com. And for sizing, go ahead and people say go half a size or a full size. I say go half a size down. These are a size 10. I wear 10 and a half to an 11. So hopefully these, this shoe does fit well. Commerce do run a little big in my opinion. So you gotta just size down. So with that being said, let's go back into the review. We have, like I mentioned earlier, we have this really soft, my hands in the way, very soft leather from here all the way to the, to the, uh, what's this part, the back of your foot, the heel, all the way to the ankle. And we have a, it's all white pretty much on the inside, underneath the tongue, white. And we have a white, soft, very soft cushion and insole. And my thoughts about these, I really do love these. I really, really, really love these, this pair of shoes. Now, will I be wearing these in the summer? Most likely no. And I don't know, man. I just really, really love these shoes. So guys, thank you guys for watching. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and let's get on to the on foot. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.